3848 back with another FIFA 15 career mode uh, with Inter Milan. Now, since I uh, stopped recording and started recording this one, you can see that a couple of the teams have caught up with us. They had a, a couple of games in hand. Milan have gone back above us by two points, but the one that's really worrying me is uh, Roma, who are two, uh, sorry, same points. Same points as us, we're only above them on goal difference because we've got a positive goal difference and they've got a negative goal difference. But we got a couple of player conversations and Daniel Osvaldo, I'm really enjoying my football at the moment. I've been playing so well that I'm a bit concerned that I'm not in the team sheet, it has me on the bench. What the hell? Uh, so he wants to start the game. That was supposed to be Italian. And so he's not going to let his performances suffer, even though he's told me that he wants to leave. So, Mr. Kovacic. But this does leave me with a slight, a, a swat? A slight quandary in as much as uh, how to split up these games. I'm thinking of trying to keep this one slightly shorter and going Palmer and Hellas Verona, just two games. Because that will then enable me in the next episode to do Milan and Roma together but I don't know whether to split Milan and Roma games between the next two and then do in the next episode Udinese, Roma and Chievo, Verona and then that would enable me possibly to do the last four all in one depending on how close we are to Juventus I assume they've got a, quite a gap at the top I think it's about five points and a game in hand as well. So they've got a five point gap, that could be eight points. They're probably gonna win the league. That game probably isn't gonna be that important to them, sort of, in regards to my position and their position. So I'm gonna see how it kind of evolves as I play through. But first of all, we got a game against Parma. So here it is, Inter Milan versus Parma Ham FC. Oh God, that's a foul? No. Oh. Right, I'm not going to get frustrated that quickly, so. I'm back. Oh, that's a nice one, too. I'm back again. Oh, lovely. Lucas has made a run. Wow. What was that? <laughs> oh, my God, Lucas. I can't even be mad. It was kind of impressive how bad it was. Uh, defender, though. But we're good at corners. We are good at corners. Head that. Oh, have you missed? We got you. We should have got you. <laughs> Spinning the screw, as they say. Oh, no, that's not good. Nil nil at half time. Maybe it's because it's game one of today. I don't know. But we really, really need to keep the pressure up on the teams around us, meaning that we have to be winning home games against the Palmer Hand team. So, let's get done. Just keep all for a minute, keep all. The gap will open up, and there it is. Osvaldo, it's found the gap. Finish that, Osvaldo. What is the matter with your son? You asked me to put you in. I put you in, and you do this. <laughs> Go on, Dodo. Chase him. Beautiful Dodo. Come on now. This has to be the winner. Somebody has to make a good run. There it is. Oh my god, last minute! How have you missed that, you partially bald, one platted Argentinian knobhead? Ah! Alright, if you get another opportunity, Palacio, you better put it away. Because that was shocking. Get it in for a cardi. He's there! Now he's put one over! What is wrong with you people? Got time. Still got time. Hernanes, be stronger. You suck. <sighs> oh, Milan drew as well, so it's okay. So we are straight into game number two against Hellas Verona. Oh god, these are the ones that absolutely tooled me in in the cup. They beat me like 3 1, I think it was. Luca Tony got two, so I'm gonna have to watch out for this lot. But we dropped a point in the last game. Milan also dropped a point, so half and half. Annoyed that we didn't close the gap, but 
glad that the gap has not got bigger. But, ooh, we're in here. Go on, Hernanes. Yes! That is the start you want after drawing a shitty game with Palmer. Stupid ham. What a goal. Get in there, Hernanes. He's finished that brilliantly, to be fair. And he is getting better. I can sort of feel it a bit. But I'm probably going to move him on at some point. But for now, he is my hero. Hernanes will be your hero, baby. He can score you all the goals. He will get you three points in Champions League. Honest. Well, that's okay. You've done well. V is free. Up to Icardi. Palacios made that run. Oh, he's beautifully stayed on side. Bad first touch. Bad. Bad first touch. Okay, Palacio. Oh, yes. The skills. Oh, my God. He's through. Finish it. What a goal by Palacio. <laughs> Fucking brilliant dribble. Brilliant finish. I'm going to go and celebrate here, apparently. Yeah, look at my hair. I'm going to have to show the replay of that because it was really, really nice dribbling from Mr. Palacio, who is not showing any of his 30 odd years. There he is. But look at this one way, then the other. That drag back, I found. I'm not the, the biggest or best sort of advocate of skilling because I find some of it is just ridiculous. Like, a person can run towards you and do three skills which make absolutely no sense and get past, like, your entire team. But the drag to the side, when timed well, is, is absolutely perfect. That was never really threatening. That was the worst clearance you'll probably ever see, then. Uh-oh. No, no. Oh, God, it hit his own player. And De Gea with another fantastic save. This guy... I mean, we all know how well he's doing at Manchester United now, and he's probably going to be moving to Real Madrid, but... Oh, I was going to say that he has had a very positive impact, and then that goes and happens with Nene. Oh, no, 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 my defenders have made stupid mistakes here. We're fighting to get back, and they've scored. They've scored again. They keep beating De Gea at his near post. It's like... <sighs> he needs to do something about that. And their shooting has been absolutely unreal. I think that must have been their second attempt on goal in this game. That was unbelievable. In this game, everything's going against me. Oh, hold on. polly has got some room. Come on, Podolski. Finish it. Yes! That's what you need. Lucas Podolski. Natural finisher. Yes! I can't believe I celebrated that so hard, but Jesus Christ, I've been trying and trying, and all you need is Lucas Podolski on his weak foot. His weak foot. I take everything back I've ever said about Podolski on this game for this career mode. He's amazing. He's always been amazing. Come back to Arsenal, Lucas, where you belong. Oh, we've got other Lucas. Down the wing. Put it in. Get a fourth. How oh, has he saved that now? What a volley from Palacio. Look at that. Oh, it is quite close to the goalkeeper. No, don't do this to me. Not the 90th minute. Not the 90th minute. No, yay. No. You've given me nothing in this entire game. Just just give me... Just let me have this win. Come on now. Oh, thank you, David De Gea. Right, I don't care. I'm wasting time. Chase me! Chase me! And... Winner! Meaning, if we win this game, we will go a point above them and put the destiny of third... Second and third. Actually, just third at this point in our own hands. If Roma continue to drop points, it might be second place that is in our destiny. So what I really, really need to do is beat Milan. So I'm going to wait and see what team they have put out. And this is what we're up against. Diego Lopez, Almero Rami, Mexis Abate, De Jong, Poli, Montari, El Shirawi, Ndoy, and Keisuke Honda. 
but we have to win it. Come on, Icardi. This would be the perfect start. Glasses made a run. Fernandez has come through the centre. That's got to be a foul and a free kick in a dangerous position. It's Lucas Podolski. We know he's dangerous from free kicks. Do it, Poldy. What a goal by Lucas Podolski! <laughs> he is in just blistering form at this point and that free kick was perfect. It is the only place that, he, that we could have put that ball apart from sort of higher up in the net where Alves was not going to get it. Oh, it's just, look at this angle. Thing of beauty. Wall didn't jump. That's probably how it got in. But that's seven goals now in the Serie A half for Lucas. And again, you wonderful bastard. Palacio. Oh, he's burnt him. He's burnt Mexis for pace and he's in. This is, we've got to make it two. He's hit the post. 2-0. Just in there. Is that Vier again? He is scoring so many important goals for a CDM. He is a wonderful player. I might actually just buy him as backup to possibly Condogbia, but what an important goal that is. Oh, should be three. That should have been three. I should have put more pace on it. But it is two. It is two nil at half time. Like a majorly good team like Juventus or Barca or Real. Out. Get it out. No! How has he got that? No way! Did he beat Jesus to that? I have to see this again. That's ridiculous. Oh, De Gea. Oh, that guy scored. And Pelosi win that. You did not win that. Uh, 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 out. Right. Beautifully done. Right through the middle of both strikers. Genius. Out. Oh, yes. Obi's won it so high up the pitch. It's a thing of beauty. No. Palacio. One more. Over to Kovacic. You said you were going to play your best. And that is not your best. But it's done. We've beaten AC Milan. <laughs> we have put Champions League football in the palm of our own hand when it Mattered the most. And Roma drew! Even better! So it started off badly against Parma with a draw. Got ridiculous in the middle against Verona. And it finished perfectly against AC Milan. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you want to see some more. I'm really excited about this career mode. I'm going to keep it going for at least another one, maybe two seasons. To see how we can grow and evolve. This team and see who we can get in to strengthen as well but thanks very much bye what what should i be doing or if you want to ask me any questions or just whatever just leave me a comment come follow me on twitter uh everything's in the link uh oh everything is in the description below all of the links see that's the thing yeah. you know you know what's going on so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one